I went out early, I think it was about seven o'clock, and I saw Robbie sitting on the side of our house. He said that his father had kicked him out, that his parents had been long divorced, and didn't have a place to stay. I mean, my dogs are better cared for than he was. He was at the age where, you know, he didn't qualify for adolescent stuff. He, you know, there was no help for him. They're not really old enough to take care of themselves. If their parents, you know, are frustrated enough that, you know, they can't deal with them anymore, they kick them out, where do people like that go? And so I felt like I had a responsibility to help him. He didn't know how to talk to people. He didn't maintain eye contact. Uh, he fidgeted all the time, chewed his fingernails, sat in the fetal position, was very mistrusting looking, you know. I remember one time when I um, yelled at my boys for something and he ducked like I was going to slap him. After a couple months of living here, you know, he got his GED, he got his driver's license, he got a job. He wanted to do what was right. He always, he always thanked us for the food that we gave him, um, always, you know, what a nice meal it was. I mean, just a very appreciative kind of kid. He never displayed any kind of um, aggression. We happened to have four dogs at the time, and we have one dog that is kind of an older dog. People are just like, you know, just go away. Robbie would always sit on the porch and hold his hand around him like, you know, he, he could understand. Nobody wanted him. And it was kind of sad because it, it seemed like, you know, maybe Robbie was reflecting that, you know, I, I feel just like you, guy. Nobody wants you around. You know, he even, he had the long straggly hair. He even got a haircut for us. You know, we got him new glasses. He just really wanted to, you know, fit in and have us be proud of him. He got a raise from McDonald's, a 15 cent raise, and he couldn't wait to jump out. I got a raise, I got a raise, just like a little kid that, you know, struck gold or something. He was just so happy with himself. It was just touching, really. It was around Thanksgiving time. He had run into his real mom at the grocery store. And we thought we had the perfect Thanksgiving story. You know, here the boy gets reunited with his mom. But that lasted, you know, only a day. So he was again homeless, but he was too embarrassed to come back to our house. And we found out Robbie was living in a car again. I talked to him on Monday, and he said that he had lost his job. That was the last time I talked to him. He felt like he never really was anything. And, and in the note that he wrote, it said that all my life I've been a piece of crap and now I'll be famous because he just felt like nobody knew he was around. No matter what he did, even when he was doing good, people treated him like crap. That morning I woke up, I just felt like there was something inside of me that wouldn't click, that wasn't right. He called here, it was about one o'clock. And he, I guess he had already called his girlfriend and um, was saying goodbye to her. I couldn't put my finger on it. Like, I don't know if something bad was about to happen. I could tell there was something wrong by the one-sided conversation. So I got on the phone. He said um, he just wanted to thank me for everything and how much he appreciated all we've done for him. I said, Robbie, what's, what's up? I, I had just had to get out of school. And I said, where are you? And he goes, I'm nowhere. Come home, watching TV, there's Westroads on the, on the news. I know everyone will remember me as some sort of monster, but please understand that I just don't want to be a burden on the ones that I care for my entire life. I'm so sorry for what I've done to you and put you through. Just think about how much better you are off without me to support. I've been a piece of shit my entire life. It seems this is the, my only option. I just want to take a few pieces of shit with me. I don't want anyone to miss me. Just think, though, I'm going to be famous. Well, it was kind of an unusual day for us anyway. I happened to be acting chief you know, on December 5th. The uh, President of the United States was in Omaha for a visit that day. Um, I left for work about 1.30, and I think everything started happening about 1.45. An AK-47 hidden beneath his sweatshirt. He walks directly to the elevator, takes it up to the third floor. The door opens, assault weapon raised, rampage begins. He walked to the store's atrium railing where he pointed the gun down, shooting below. Then he turns right, a final shot aimed at himself. We have 
confirmed nine people that are, have died from their injuries. He still had half a clip left, and if he was dead set on killing people, he would have wasted the rest of that clip. There's a difference between video games and actual life. You can't just start over in the middle of your life. You can't go to pause and go to restart. There was, there was no quit option in his life. And that was his only quit option. Videos I've seen on YouTube, replies like, oh yeah, that kid did good. He did a favor to America. The wealthy people, they are the ones that deserve to die. And just watching it, it turned my stomach, and I don't want to watch anymore. I've been on the police department for over 23 years, and it was an unprecedented event. I believe there's people out there that, that feel isolated and are mentally unstable, but I don't believe that there's very many people that'll, that'll do a horrific act like kill eight people. There's a lot of people out there like Robbie, a lot more than people realize. People are treated like you didn't exist, like an invisible kid. As a society, it's our job to watch for those people, um, to try to get them treatment. I'm angry at what the aftermath, how he left everything, what he did for all those people, and, and how my family seems to be taking the brunt end of it. I, I'm angry at him for that. Um, but I also feel a, a tinge of sadness that he had no hope left and that he had to resort to this.